Hey guys, it's your girl Naturally Nada here. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this Variety Queen 100% Virgin Remy Human Hair. This is unprocessed hair that comes with three bundles. I have the 18, 20, and 22 inch bundles and also a 2 by 6 closure. You can find this hair on Amazon, which is crazy. So um, I'm going to be making a wig which as you can see I've already done of course so I'm going to be showing you how I cut and style this wig into a cute shoulder length DIY bob wig. I wanted to do something fun and flirty for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you by the way so that's why I chose to do this style. This is the perfect style that's girly, cute, not too much you know still natural for Valentine's Day. So um, this is the wig that I'm making for my date night. As you can see, I went ahead and clipped away the extra dome cap that was blocking the closure. And now I'm going to start to cut this wig into a bob. As I said, the bundles that I have on this wig are 18, 20, and 22 inches. So this is a lot of hair that I'm going to be clipping away. As you can see, I had already started with some of the hair clipped away. All I did was put the wig on my head real quick and see where the hair fell to shoulder length. I clipped a little bit of hair away so I would know where to cut. Put the wig back onto my BHD Beauty mannequin head and now I'm just going to follow that line all the way around the bottom of the hair just to make it just one blunt length. All right, now that I have the hair all one blunt length, all I'm going to do now is go in and detail the cut so we can have some more volume. And also when the wind blows and when our hair shakes and moves, it will give us that nice body. So I'm taking my hair shears and I'm just uh, taking pieces of hair, sections of hair, and I'm going to stretch it out and then clip the ends going upwards, holding the scissors straight vertical and clipping, not horizontal. And I'm just going to clip into those sections of hair just to clip away some of the um, ends, make them uneven basically. And that's just going to give us some nice movement and body and volume. Now that I've detailed the cut, what I'm going to go in and do is pluck the closure. You can almost say frontal, sorry. <laughs> you can pluck your closure just like you would a frontal with some tweezers by pulling out some of the hair by the root um, off of the closure. This is a very, very small closure. It's a two by six. Um, there are some larger ones, five by five, which would make it look even you know more natural because there's more lace to work with but even with this small closure or any closure you can go in and pluck it um, and pull some of that hair out just to make it look a bit more natural now that i've plucked the closure just a bit i'm going to go in with a flat iron and bump the ends you can see from one side to the other how much more volume is on the side that i've bumped the ends compared to the other side that looks just flat and boring and not cute so I'm going to give myself a little Dora cut, basically a little Dora bump <laughs> at the end. You do not want to curl it too much at the end because then you really will start to look like Dora. So you want to drag the flat iron all the way almost to the bottom and just when you're almost, you know, out of hair, turn it under a little bit just to do that nice slight bump. And as you can see, that's just going to give you that body. And when you swing your head and move it, it's going to really give you that movement because of those cuts we made in the hair with the vertical, um, the scissors going vertical.
All right, so now I have all of the ends bumped under and as you can see, it's starting to look so much better. So now I'm taking this ORS olive oil, which is a very thick like oil that you can put on your hands and smooth onto the top of your hair and throughout your hair to really add some sheen to it. I love this stuff. It is quite pricey. I found it at the beauty supply for about eight or nine dollars, but it really works. Not only did it add that shine and that sheen to my hair, but it really uh, just made it look more healthy and also made it look more like black people hair. Like it could actually be my hair because, you know, black girls always got that sheen popping on their hair. So I had to add this. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that. It kind of looks like a really, really good silk press or relax. All right, so now we are ready to apply this wig. So what I'm gonna do is just put it on. I still have the lace um, on the wig. I have not clipped it yet. So we're just putting this straight on. And yeah, I'm just gonna adjust it to my head. I'm just going to brush it out uh, with a brush real quick just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And this is what it's looking like. Already looking really good, but it can always look better. So what I'm going to do first is take an angled brush and some foundation and put that on this closure. As you can see, this closure is extremely natural looking. The lace was already pretty brown. I actually wish it was a little less brown. So that's a good thing though. You do not need to bleach the knots or anything, but just adding some foundation will really make it look uniform. I'm gonna spread that out with my finger. You can see my nude wig cap up underneath this um, this wig, the closure. But when you hold your head up, you know, looking straight at people, as long as nobody's looking directly down on your head, they're not gonna be able to see that wig cap. It actually looks pretty good when you look straight on and you'll be able to see that in the video. Even though you can see it right now, it's okay. You won't be able to see it when I'm looking straight at you. So I'm just adding a little bit more foundation after I went ahead and clipped away a lot of that lace. So now I'm going to take this little baby got to be ultra spiked glue or ultra glued. The one that's black. There's a black one and a yellow one. This is the black one. I'm taking a generous amount and putting it up underneath the lace right there. And then I'm going to lay that lace on top of the gel once it has dried for a few minutes. And that will help the closure to stick onto my head. I like using got to be um, for something small like this, but if I'm doing a full frontal or anything, I am not going to use got to be because it gets way too messy. Well, since I'm just doing a small little area, it's fine and it will work and it's better to use a glue, a uh, gel, not a glue. It's not a glue. It's a gel. It's better to use a gel like this um, when you don't have to use a lot because otherwise it can get very messy very quick. And I'm just taking my hair toothbrush and smoothing some of my real baby hairs out and also some of the baby hairs that are on this closure. Which it came. Yeah guys, that is the finished look. As you can see, frontals are way more difficult to apply than this closure wig. I love frontals, but I had such a good experience with this closure wig that I am a new fan of closures. This was just so easy to do and it looks so natural i am in love with this hair the quality the texture the fullness uh just everything the price the where you find it which is amazon amazon has hidden gems on there and i love being able to find them for you guys so if you're interested in this hair please check the description box below because i will have all the details down there thank you for watching and i cannot wait to hopefully see you in my next video bye oh,